creative friends welcome to my channel and welcome to another awesome fun and i can't wait to participate collaboration this is really a cool one this is the pies of march collaboration from tony over kettle kitchen and leanne over at the mennonite farmhouse i'm so excited about this one because it really put my mind to the test it is all about pies and it didn't have to be a sweet pie originally i wanted to do a sour cream and raisin pie but trying to cut back on all those extra goodies and so then I came across a recipe a friend of mine had one of those little books you know the kind that I like the um, old vintage kind of like collaboration cookbooks and there was a recipe in there called onion pie and I said oh that's cool can I take a picture of it so I took a picture of the recipe in the book and this is called onion pie technically it's a side dish but sometimes I will look at a side dish and think hmm how can I make that a meal so that's what I've done with this one so this is called onion pie and basically it seems to me it's kind of like a quiche an onion and cheese quiche but the way I'm gonna make it a meal is I'm gonna add a little jar of my home canned chicken and if you watch any of my chicken canning videos you'll know that I will do a good portion of it in the smaller like the half pint jars because that's just enough for my husband and I just the two of us and this makes a perfect meal so this amount is what I'm going to add to this pie now I will give you the instructions as they are written but I do want you to know that because it calls for a nine inch pie pan and I only have a nine and a half I've kind of increased the amounts of the ingredients a little bit. It's going to call for two eggs, but I'm going to add a little bit of the liquid egg white um, in here just because, or that's liquid egg substitute. I'm going to add just to give it a little bit more because I think it's going to need it. So let me go over what you need. The reason I think this is a cool recipe is because the crust is made with crushed saltine crackers, you know, plain old saltine crackers, and you crush them. So good old saltine crackers who doesn't love those so it's crushed saltine crackers and you want to have uh, a cup of those I've got a little bit more because I'm making the bigger pie so it's soda cracker crumbs I've just put the cracker crumbs the crackers there and I crushed them in a bag and filled up my measuring cup a quarter cup of melted butter right there I have that ready to go uh, two cups of thin slices of onion now I've cut those down and I didn't increase those because I am increasing the bulk of the pie with the chicken and then two tablespoons of butter which I have over in my cast iron skillet because that's where I'm gonna cook the onions and then it needs a three-quarter cup of milk I have that here and then the two eggs I got a little bit of this just to give it maybe a half an eggs worth uh, three quarter of a teaspoon of salt so I've got my half and my quarter there and a dash of pepper I think I'm just gonna put maybe a half a teaspoon of pepper in there and then a quarter cup of shredded cheese this is actually really easy the first thing I have to do is mix the soda crumbs with the melted butter and press them into this pie dish so I'm gonna get a little bowl and I'm gonna come back because I'm gonna put that all together actually why can't I just put it in here I'm just gonna put it in here we're going to mix this melted butter and these soda crumbs and then I will get a little spatula and I will kind of oops you know, let me get my light back there we go lost my lighting for a second and then I'm going to use this spatula and kind of push these into the pie dish I might need maybe to mix a little bit more melted butter in there because I did have about oh one and a half cups not quite of the crumbs oh they're doing fine so I'm just gonna mix this up until it's kind of like uh, you know like you would do a graham cracker crust except for this is a soda cracker crust and I just feel like this is gonna be so good so basically it says to do this then I'm gonna saute the onions and butter not until they're brown just until they're soft and then I'm going to put them in on this crust and then after that, but what I'm also going to do is then I will spread a little bit, put a little chicken chunks in there. And then it says to, uh, to take the egg mixture with the milk and pour in over the top of it. It's kind of like a quiche, I guess you'd say. But I just like the idea of putting the chicken in there and making it a meal. Okay, so I'm pressing this in. So let me get this pressed in here and then I'll come back after this is beautifully pressed in there and all even, which 
will just take another minute or so, but I'm gonna get this pressed down really good because I wanna make it a nice crust. So let me keep working on that and I'll come back. It should just take me a couple minutes. All right, there we have it. I've got it all pressed in there. I tried to use my fingers, but it kind of crumbled a little bit. I did add a wee bit more butter to kind of hold the crumbs together. So we'll just see how that goes. Now, I'm going to saute the onions in butter. I'm going to take them over to my skillet, and I'm just going to saute these until they're limp but not brown. Then we come back and put them in the pie shell, and I will put the chicken in the pie shell also. And then we take the egg and milk mixture and put on it. We're going to bake it. So I've already got my oven on at 350. It bakes for only three, at 350 for about 30 minutes. I'll probably go about 40 or a little bit more because I do have more ingredient, a larger amount. So let me go over. I'm going to saute the onions, and then I will come back. All right, these are limp but not brown. You see there? They're just nice and limp, but we didn't want them to get brown. So now I'm going to put those in the pie shell. I'm just going to lay them around on the bottom, kind of spread them out nicely. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my chicken and break it up and kind of spread it around on the onions. So, And I've never made this before, so when Brian does a taste test, he's going to have to be brutally honest. Maybe he'll tell me I need to add something. Maybe there's some herbs or something that need to be, spices that need to be added in. I don't know. But we shall see. I do love a good sour cream and raisin pie, though, but I'm trying to cut back on all that stuff. So, let me get the rest of these out. Okay. There we go, those last two. And now I'm going to take my chicken, and I'm just going to put it in this jar that I already used and break it up. Now this is not in the recipe. This is in Linda's recipe. Just going to break that up into pieces. Cool way to use your home canned food. So this video will help you with that too. A way to use it. I hope this turns out because I think it sounds a really kind of cool. Okay, so we're going to put chicken on there. You could probably do pork if you have home canned pork. All kinds of stuff. And I'm just going to serve this with a salad. Maybe I could serve it with some green beans. Let me go see if I've got some green beans. Because that would be good. Okay. I'm going to spread this all the way around to the edges. Okay. Might be kind of a different thing. I love it when I see an exciting recipe in one of those old cookbooks. All right, now it says to, put to combine the milk, eggs, salt, and pepper. So there's the milk. And I'm going to put the two eggs in here. And I'm just going to put a little bit of the liquid egg substitute because I feel like I need a little extra here. And then salt and pepper. Is that what it says? And then pour that over the onions. There you go, that's plenty. Now, because this is a big pie dish, I'm going to mix all those up. Break the yolks up, give it a good mix. And the salt. There we are. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a half a teaspoon of pepper in here. I like pepper, so I feel like maybe I should add more, but that's, whew, that's a lot. Uh, but that'll be fine. Maybe I shouldn't add more after I see it in on those eggs. No, it'll be fine. It's perfect. All right. That looks well mixed. I don't want a big, big yolk in the middle of my pie. Okay, get off of there. Now, I'm going to pour this in, and then you sprinkle the cheddar cheese on top. Okay, I'm going to pour this slowly. That pie shell seems a little delicate to me. So I don't want to kind of do anything that's going to have it crumble down. Okay. That looks all right. I guess I could have had another egg. But this will be all right. Maybe I could add. Let me add another egg. I'll just use a little bit more of this uh, 
egg substitute because I think it's just because I have such a large pie dish. Let me add this egg substitute and I'll get another egg and mix it in there because I do want it to be fuller. So let me get another egg and I'll be right back. Okay. Now I would, um, you know, I have the, the only reason I'm using the egg substitute is because I have it. I could use extra eggs if I wanted to. But I feel like this is just going to help fill that pie dish up a little more because this is, this is actually a really big pie dish. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now, we're going to sprinkle the cheddar cheese on the top of it. And then we're going to put it in the oven at 350. The directions have it for 350 for uh, 30 minutes, but I'm going to do it probably for 40 or 45 because this is so much bigger than the one I would have created from the directions. I think it sounds good though, huh? Okay, there you have it. That's going to go in the oven. And then I will come back to you in about 40 minutes or so. We'll check on it. I'll see where we're at. And then I'll let it get to where I know that it's done. So I will see you in a little bit. All right, I just took this out of the oven. It actually looks and smells really good. So I'm going to let it sit. Um, and kind of settle while the green beans are cooking and then I'm going to come back and plate it up and we'll have Brian give it a taste test but that looks good it smells wonderful I've got this plated up and I think we'll call Brian in to do a taste test so you can see all the chicken and the onions in there and I haven't even tasted it I've never made this before this is new hey Brian <laughs> he knows when it's taste test time okay so I've never made this before it's like a chicken and onion pie. So I, I'm going to see what you really think. Let me see if I can get my camera up high enough. Hang on. What is this? Chicken. It's like a, it was this onion pie recipe, this old onion pie recipe, but I'm chicken, putting some of my homemade chicken, home canned chicken in there. I think it's good. Like, I think it, the idea of it's good. It's like a quiche. Yeah. It's like a quiche. But yeah, clearly it's like a quiche, but how is the flavor? <laughs> You're supposed to tell me if it tastes good. It's good. Is it's it? Good. It's yeah. kind of neat, huh? Different. Different, but good. I'm, yeah, I'm not a quiche guy. <laughs> not a quiche guy, but you'll eat that for dinner. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's yeah, go. it's good. Okay, good. Let's finish our dinner. Okay. Bye-bye. So, <laughs> Bye-bye. Okay, there you go, you guys. Pies of March. We made a chicken and onion Kind of a quiche pie. So there you have it. And be sure and go check all the other channels and all the other pie recipes because yum. It's just good. All right. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.